Hey, hey y'all, welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this here. Putting a text and making it translucent on a video. Ain't that cool, y'all? So I'm not just gonna show you one, but I'm also gonna show you two. So here's another one that I've done and I'm gonna create this step-by-step -step with y'all. And you can follow along on your computer or what, your mobile, if anything. But yeah, let's start. Let's jump right on in. Uh, so open up a template. This is a video standard size template. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to add the video. So in when it comes to this, from what I've noticed playing around with translucent, translucent text is that because the, the majority of this method is removing like the background of one of the videos, you want to make sure that the video that you choose does not have a lot of background stuff going on, busyness going on, because the thing is we're using the background remover and with the background remover, it's, it, it really, what it does is just tries to uh, focus on one major object that stands out. So in this case, it would be this taxi here and then everything else would just go it would erase it. Okay. But because this is a video, not a picture, a lot of things are coming close. As you can see what, what you just saw cars and buses. So it can't figure out what is the main object. So try and stick with things that probably have like no background. It's just solid or, you know, it's, it just, there's not a lot of movement. Okay. But this is something you have to play around with. Okay. Cause that's what I did until I kind of got it here. Well, I think I got it. So pretty much let's, I'm, we're going to do this, um, honey flowing and, um, video here. And what we need to do is we need to duplicate that video and we need to make sure that it's aligned. Both videos are aligned together. Once we do that, we then need to go to position. Okay. And in position, we need to go to layers. And I want you to see that this, this is going to come in handy because it's showing you, cause sometimes it can get confusing. You don't know what image you just used here or what clip. So when you go into layers, it shows when you click here, um, or when it's highlighted, it's saying, oh, okay. Um, this is at the top. So this, this image here is at the top and the other one, which you really can't see right now, but if you click on it that if you were to move this, it would move it based on the one at the bottom. So we want to focus on the top because it's the top in which we need to use the background remover with. Okay. So once we click on background remover and you'll know it's done when you see that check mark, then you'll if you come and go back into position, you see now how that beige area is now moved or it's removed. So we know it's done. Okay. So we've done that part. So now I want to make sure that both images are the size of the, the video frame here, um, the template. So I'm just going to go from one corner. So I select, I selected both of them together and then from one corner to the next, I've enlarged it. Okay. Then I'll deselect. Perfect. So now I need to add the text. So we'll go and click on text. And I'm going to um, just make it bigger here. Okay. I'm going to change the font to Abril fat face. And I'm going to also um, change the name to honey. And I just want to make it a bit bigger here. Okay. And then I'm going to center it. Perfect. And then I'm going to now do the exact same thing I did with the, the clips by duplicating the text. And I'm going to bring this one up because I need to see what I'm doing. Actually, I'm going to delete this one here because I want to change the color to white. So let's go ahead and change this color. Then we're going to duplicate it, bring it up. And then I'm going to go into effects so that I can make that text hollow and I'm going to bring down the thickness to number one. Then I'm going to recenter it with the solid text. All right. And I'm going to go back into position and then to layers. And I need to take the solid text now. So select it and move it in between the two videos. Once you do that, there you have it. 
you've literally made it translucent, okay? So if you play it, it should work. Keep in mind, y'all, the reason why you're seeing this, this might happen to some of you guys. Do not fret. Okay. It's just because your computer's slow. <laughs> My computer's slow. I got a lot of junk on here. I need to take it off or I just need to get a, a new computer. Um, and so this is why it's doing this, right? However, if you go and share, download, save it as an MP4 and download it, it will look like this in the end. So this is what, this is the final product I did. Like I showed you in the beginning, once I saved it and downloaded it, downloaded as an MP4. Okay. So let's do another one. Okay. We'll do the, the challenge yourself one. All right. Let's do a fresh new page here. We're going to go back into videos and I'm going to the select that one of the woman, um, who looks like she just finished uh, a marathon and she's praising herself. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do now, remember, we're going to, let's stop this first, let's drag this back down. We're going to duplicate the video. We're going to align the videos together. We're gonna select both videos. We're gonna bring, it, bring both of them to one corner and then down to the next corner of the template then we're going to deselect both of them, select the, the top anywhere on the image, go into position, make sure that the top image is the one that's selected. Then you're going to go to edit video. Then you're going to click on background remover. When the check mark appears, we know that it has been removed the background, um, which you'll see. Oops. Sorry guys. Right here. It has been removed. So the object is the girl, okay, the woman. So we've done that. We're gonna go into text. I'm gonna add a text. I'm I'm going to blow it up here to make it bigger from one end to the next. All right, we're gonna call it challenge in capitals. And we're gonna change the text to League Spartan. And I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to, I'm going to use the position this time. I don't know if people know, but when you go to a range, all you have to, if you want to center everything, all you got to do is just go center, middle or center, left, center, top, center, bottom or center, right. And it does it for you. It's, I mean, it's really cool. Um, and so now once I've done that, I want to change the color. I want to change it to this orange yellow color. Now I'm going to duplicate the text. I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to go to hollow. I'm going to reduce the thickness to number one. Then I'm going to align it back with the solid text. I'm just make sure. There we go. Then I'm going to go into position layers. I'm going to take the solid text and bring it in between the two videos. And there you have it. Now, just want to clean this up a little bit more. So I think the one I selected, not still that one. So I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to bring it down to probably um, the size, I should say, to about maybe 60. I'm going to change it to white. I'm going to then space out the letters. And I'm going to call this yourself. And I need to then position it by putting it in the center here. All right, perfect. And I'm going to just bring it up a bit. Perfect. And then I'm going to go to animate and I'm going to use the rise option. I want it to go on enter to animate on enter and the speed to go a bit slower here. Okay. And that's it. There you have it. So again, if you hit play, it should work out. But like I said, my computer is quite slow right now. So it, it, I can see it right now. It's not going to work <laughs> because of my slow computer. But like I said, 
when you download it as an mp4 this is what you're gonna get in the end how cool is that y'all now if you enjoyed this video i ask please can you like it and also subscribe to to get more updates on new videos that i'm going to be posting here um and yeah thank you if you have any comments please leave them in the comment box and thank you for watching and stay tuned for more y'all stay blessed and take care all right bye for now